All right, welcome back. You might remember me from such videos as Unboxing for Muggles, Fanatec DD1 for PS4, 911 Cup, Universal Hub, and Podium Series shifters and all that. And now we're going to do a special Friday content upload, and it's going to be another unboxing. So I got my knife. Like that dude does. And I got my camera in my hand, so I'm gonna try to be really careful to not cut my product that someone so delightfully uh, hooked me up with. Shout out to that dude. He's really cool. You can check out his channel too. Uh, he does Twitch iRacing, and he also, uh, every now and again, is on YouTube. Uh, and I don't know what he does on YouTube anymore, but find him on Twitch. He's Ian Scott64. Uh, you can find him also uh, on our Discord and stuff like that if you have any questions about this product. Uh, what he sent me here is a product I recommended to him, and I think he enjoys it. Uh, I am a, uh, if you've watched my channel or are a fan of my racing and seen my cars, I am obviously a victim of high fashion. and its effect on uh, the consumer, because I love shiny things. I love new things. Well, what we have here are a set of boots in a box. In this box are boots made by this company. This product is made by Alpine Stars, also an Italian company, just like Sparco, the other stuff that I use right now. These are the Tech <coughs> Onesie shoes, and they are in the white, uh, black, yellow fluorescent color in the size 9 which is Euro 42 <clears throat> right now I rock Sparkos in the Euro 40 oh look at this Lion GP eSport racing team who is Lion GP I don't know however what we have in this box is something quite nice these are 1Z shoes by Alpine Stars. They are bright white. High vis, baby. Look at those bad boys. They have a strappy poo here, which is kind of neat. I like the strappy poo. Uh, no laces. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, what they've got here is some type of locking mechanism uh, with this type of lace, which I find quite interesting. That's kind of cool. I like that. So there's our shoes. They've got the uh, some type of ribbing, it feels like, in the side uh, boot here. High visibility red sole. I love the yellow highlight. That's like my favorite part uh, of this boot. I like the cutout for the heel so you can get fluid movement there. And you get your do 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 doing your brake and your gas foot there, kind of nice. Uh, go here to our previous model shoes. Sorry if you're getting moved around a lot. I don't have a camera stand, and I really don't care if you get seasick. Just close your eyes. So there's our new stuff. And here's our old stuff. We are obviously a victim of fashion here, guys, because we like it flashy and we like it matching, which is really cool. But look at that. There's our old stuff and our new stuff. Just wanted to do a short video here about these uh, products. Uh, my outgoing product was my RB3 uh, Stivaletto uh, boot. Uh, purchased off Amazon. Uh, they retail and you can still purchase them uh, in the neighborhood of about $160. I believe I got these ones for $50 because uh, if you carefully uh, negotiate or watch what you're looking for, uh, these are rated for FIA safety homologation. Uh, and once they are outdated, they are pretty much useless at the prices that they're listed. So if you're careful. You know, you can find a good deal sometimes. Uh, these particular boots uh, by Alpine Stars are available on Amazon. Uh, we can put a link in the description. Uh, they're available from Competition Motorsports, I think also OG. They're available in a few different varieties. 
Uh, I believe they have them in black. Uh, they have them in uh, a, a bunch of other funky colors too. Uh, but subject to availability and size and everything like that, uh, because carding stuff, you know, cycles so quickly. And especially if it's homologated, you know, like I don't know if these are homologated or not, but they do have a a rating. So, yeah, they're specced. And they're specced through, hmm, let's see here. In compliance with FIA standards, 8856-2000. So what their compliance level is uh, and, and the duration of it is mystery. We're just using them for our sim racer here, so no big deal. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I think that's about it. I don't think I need to turn them on uh, my feet just yet. I've got some issues here uh, preventing me from racing lately except for my uh, my due diligence on Wednesdays and now Sundays uh, at 8.45. So until then, I guess you'll have to wait until uh, you see those on my feet and I'll probably debut my green old gloves too uh, on that date. Uh, and that would be this Sunday for the FIA Manufacturers Cup. But anyway, look at those cool shoes. Alpine Stars, uh, onesie off Amazon, competition motorsports. Uh, size 42, pretty sharp looking.